Since its launch on December 25, 2021, aboard an Ariane 5 rocket, James Webb has exceeded all expectations. Despite initial reservations, this enormous scientific initiative has become a game-changer in the field of space exploration. By harnessing the power of technological technology, the leading observatory has opened up a new window into the depths of the universe. Its infrared eyes allow us to peek through the cosmic dust and gas that block visible light, offering researchers with unprecedented vistas of distant galaxies, nebulae, and even exoplanets. The sharpness and richness of Webb's photos have surprised both scientists and the general public alike, from oddly bright galaxies to life on other worlds and even the eventual collapse of our current model of the cosmos. Join us as we study James Webb's most horrifying sights ever seen in history, sweeping away many of our notions about the early universe. We currently dwell in a cosmos filled of brilliant things. On a clear night, one can see thousands of stars with the naked eye. These stars occupy simply a small nearby section of the Milky Way galaxy. Telescopes reveal a far vaster realm sparkling with the light from billions of galaxies. According to our current knowledge of cosmology, the cosmos was featureless and dark over a lengthy stretch of its early existence. The first stars did not arise until about 100 million years after the Big Bang and nearly a billion years passed before galaxies swarmed over the cosmos. Astronomers have long questioned how this abrupt change from darkness to light came about. After decades of investigation, experts have lately made considerable gains toward solving this topic. Using sophisticated computer simulation techniques, cosmologists have constructed models illustrating how the density fluctuations left over from the Big Bang could have grown into the first stars. Observations of faraway quasars have allowed scientists to probe back in time and gain a glimpse of the dying days of the cosmic dark ages. The latest theories show that the early stars were likely exceedingly large and brilliant. Their genesis was an epic event that dramatically affected the cosmos and its subsequent evolution. These stars affected the dynamics of the cosmos by heating and ionizing the surrounding gases. The early stars also created and disseminated the first heavy elements, setting the stage for the ultimate creation of solar systems like our own. The fall of some of the early stars may have encouraged the creation of supermassive black holes that developed in the hearts of galaxies, generating the remarkable power sources of quasars. In short, the early stars made possible the formation of the universe that we know today, from galaxies and quasars to planets and mankind. But if all cosmic history is a book, sadly, not all the pages are visible to us. The cosmic dark ages make up the bulk of the book's missing pages. Imagine reading Shakespeare's Hamlet and skipping certain introductory scenes. You would shift from someone speaking in the darkness on the battlements of a castle in Denmark to a prince seeing ghosts and stabbing at tapestries. What happened? This is the situation that astronomers are confronting. We now possess a great description of how it all started. The Big Bang theory has successfully explained the features of our cosmos. Just a few integers termed the cosmic parameters may fully represent the universe's early conditions. Decades of observations have proven with amazing precision that cosmic history seems to have began with a blazing expansion from a single, still unexplained primal point. But a shadow fell across the universe as matter cooled from its early incandescence and relatively simple beginning circumstances progressed into complicated intricacy. This is the root of the rift in cosmic history, the darkness where astronomers ponder. What's clear is that a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, a blink of an eye in cosmological terms, the huge shadow began to lift. Enormous clouds of gas imploded, and stars, maybe hundreds of times heavier than our sun, kindled a light, initiating a photonic deluge that over eons lighted the universe. In this brief cosmic epoch, all the protagonists of our story, including black holes and galaxies, started to peep through from behind the dark curtain of the cosmic stage. The early stars were largely formed of hydrogen and helium, the lightest elements of the periodic table, as heavier elements did not yet exist. As they flashed, these stars and their succeeding relatives transmuted those light atoms into heavier carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and other components fundamental to the universe as we know it today. These ashes from early stars eventually became everything we observe around us, including you and me. To truly understand this milestone in our chronicle of cosmic history, we must fill up the missing pages around it. How did the first stars, black holes, and galaxies form? How big were they? How fast did they expand, and how was their evolution interconnected? How did the cosmic transformation from simplicity to complexity lead to at least one universe where curious beings gaze up at the sky in wonder? 
Without such facts from these few but key chapters, our comprehension of the cosmos and our place within it will be perpetually incomplete. This is the deepest, purest reason why astronomers are seeking sources farther and farther afield. Fortunately, we are privileged to live in an era where telescopes of unparalleled power, like the James Webb Space Telescope, can aid us in this cosmic endeavor. Not long after coming online, James Webb quickly identified six gigantic universe breaker galaxies containing what seemed to be almost as many stars as the Milky Way. Dating to barely 500 million years after the Big Bang, the revelation generated a stir in the scientific world, with some scientists arguing that it has put our present perspective of galaxy evolution or even our knowledge of the universe into doubt. Besides putting out seeds of potential new problems in astronomy, the telescope also reinforced an existing one, the Hubble strain. Put simply, the universe is expanding, but depending on where cosmologists look, it's doing so at different rates. The Webb telescope burned out that hope with a finding of 74 km per second per megaparsec. Since then, cosmology has lurched deeper into a crisis that could reveal new physics or possibly break the standard model. What might resolve it? More measurements by James Webb, of course. An equally intriguing discovery, the James Webb telescope may have observed a rare sort of star that astronomers aren't even convinced exists. These celestial objects, termed dark stars, might not have been driven by nuclear fusion but by the self-annihilation of dark matter, the invisible substance that is thought to make up around 85% of the matter in the universe. The candidate stars seen by James Webb will require further evidence to be confirmed, but if they're real, the finding could transform our account of how the first stars evolved. Notably, there weren't just bizarrely large old galaxies on James Webb's list of findings this year, but whopping black holes too. The first, Sears 1019, had a mass 10 million times that of our Sun and was identified by the James Webb Telescope barely 570 million years after the Big Bang, making it the oldest black hole ever spotted at the time of its discovery in April 2023. We say at the time because James Webb didn't rest on its laurels. Earlier last month, the telescope spotted an even older enormous black hole, 440 million years after the universe began. How these massive spacetime ruptures ballooned to such startling sizes so early on is a continuing puzzle astronomers are presently researching ideas that include the black holes being produced from the rapid collapse of giant gas clouds. Although they haven't ruled out that some may have been seeded by speculated primordial black holes assumed to be produced seconds after, and in some theories perhaps before, the universe began. In another astounding revelation, the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered hundreds more Milky Way lookalikes that shouldn't exist, swarming throughout the early cosmos. Shaped like warped vinyl records and wearing delicate spiral arms, the Milky Way doppelgangers were detected by James Webb more than 10 billion years into the universe's past, during a period when violent galactic mergers were assumed to have made an abundance of such fragile galaxies impossible. But when Webb's findings revealed that these galaxies are ten times more common in the early universe than astronomers previously thought, the strange discovery joins others made by James Webb that point to a deepening mystery around how large galaxies, and with them the potential for life, first bloomed in our universe. As study co-author Christopher Consolis, a professor of extragalactic astronomy at the University of Manchester, said in the statement, using the Hubble Space Telescope, we thought that these galaxies were almost non-existent until the universe was about six billion years old. These new James Webb Space Telescope results push the time these Milky Way-like galaxies form to almost the beginning of the universe. This suggests that most stars reside and form within these galaxies, which is changing our fundamental picture of how galaxy creation occurs. Based on our discoveries, astronomers must reconsider our understanding of the birth of the first galaxies and how galaxy evolution transpired over the past 10 billion years. A short note, our own existence in a disk galaxy means that astronomers normally think they must have favorable circumstances for sparking life. If that's the case, it's possible that life could have started earlier in the universe than initially assumed. However, not stop there. James Webb's ultra-powerful eye has also provided glimpses of wholly new, unexplained objects. After being focused on the Orion Nebula, the Webb Telescope identified 42 pairs of Jupiter-mass binary objects, or a jumbos, Jupiter-sized planets traveling through space in pairs. Some as far away from each other as 390 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. The jumbos are too small to be stars, but given they bafflingly occur in pairs, they are unlikely to be rogue planets ejected from solar systems. Their discovery has alerted scientists to a brand new formation mechanism for planets or even for failed stars. 
Notably, while James Webb glimpsed deep space unlike ever before, it generated a stir in the global scientific community. As it cut through dust to reach an ancient, ghostly galaxy, a hazy, extremely dust-obscured tenant of the cosmos, named only by a string of numbers and letters. It sits at a distance so far from Earth that it slips in and out of the watchful eyes of numerous observatories. The image acquired by the powerful James Webb Space Telescope illuminates Galaxy Aztec 71. But what's fascinating here is that we're witnessing Aztec 71 the way it was barely 900 million years after the Big Bang. That's when the universe began turning on its very earliest stars, absolute eons before our solar system was born. The Webb's depiction of this galaxy as a blurry speck of light is a far cry from many other magnificent photographs of galaxies and galaxy clusters in its repertory. However, even this smudge has vital insights for our understanding of the early cosmos. As research author Jed McKinn of the University of Texas at Austin remarked in a statement, the fact that even something that extreme is barely visible in the most sensitive imaging from our newest telescope is so exciting to me. It's potentially telling us there's a whole population of galaxies that have been hiding from us. Elsewhere, James Webb has helped establish yet another record, aiming Webb's sights on a star cluster roughly 1,000 light years from Earth. Astronomers identified some odd objects, the smallest they've ever observed. The smallest of the new objects that we detected is likely to be the least massive free-floating brown dwarf that has been observed to far, says Kevin Lumen, an astronomy professor at Pennsylvania State University, who is the primary author of a study documenting the team's discoveries. Brown dwarfs are one of the most peculiar objects in the universe. Many objects we can see in the cosmos are some sort of nebula, planet, star, or black hole. But brown dwarfs don't fall into any of these groups. The best way to describe them is star-like. They're not massive enough to qualify as a star like our sun, and they're so large that astronomers won't identify them as a planet. Another moniker scientists use for them is a failed stars. This puts brown dwarfs in a unique intermediate condition that makes them highly interesting for scientists exploring one of astronomy's most fundamental questions, what are the tiniest stars? On the other hand, we all know that stars and galaxies aren't evenly dispersed throughout our universe. Instead, they're connected by a huge cosmic web, a gigantic network of crisscrossing celestial superhighways paved with hydrogen gas and dark matter. Taking shape in the chaotic aftermath of the Big Bang, the web's tendrils originated as clumps from the swirling broth of the nascent cosmos, where multiple strands of the web met, galaxies eventually formed. Insights into the structure of this network not only provide us a glimpse of the chaotic particle interactions that lead to a cosmos being in the first place. So astronomers, using James Webb, were shocked when they detected the earliest strand of this web ever observed, a gassy tendril made up of ten closely packed galaxies spanning more than three million light-years in length. The filament developed when the cosmos was just 830 million years old and is partially wrapped around a brilliant black hole. By locating more, astronomers aim to find answers as to how the very earliest galaxies arose. Another addition to the Webb Telescope's long list of cosmic distance records this year was its finding of the most distant gravitationally lensed object ever seen, an Einstein ring generated by the warping of light from a distant galaxy around a curiously dense foreground galaxy. How distant? A mind-bending 21 billion light-years away, which, given the universe's 13.8 billion years of age, indicates that the light from the galaxy traveled over twice that distance due to the cosmos's expansion. Besides creating for a really lovely picture, faraway lensed light shows like this could help astronomers comprehend the enigmatic nature of dark matter, the invisible component believed to make up 70% of the universe's stuff. Another characteristic of James Webb is its ability to measure a spectrum of the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, a toolbox that enabled it to spot the potential signals of life in alien farts on a Goldilocks water world 12 light years away. The exoplanet it found, K2-18b, is a sub-Neptune planet, weighing in midway between the mass of Earth and Neptune. Orbiting the habitable zone of a red dwarf star, after taking an atmospheric spectrum, the Ultimate Space Observatory discovered it rich with hydrogen, methane, and carbon dioxide, all chemical indicators of a hydrogen-rich, habitable zone world that is a prime contender for extraterrestrial life. More tantalizing still was the identification of dimethyl sulfide, a cabbage-smelling chemical only known to be formed by microscopic algae in Earth's waters.